they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. The Jedi's civil war destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to... Per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. repaired this ship. My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get! That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. Yes. 
You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. All right, we actually have some plot now. All right, this is this is good stuff. We have the Ebon Hawk. We have like a party. We have storyline. This is great. Let's check out the Ebon Hawk. It's all fixed up. Looks better from the prologue. If you actually could watch the prologue, it has camera controls everywhere too, which is hey oh wait a minute. There's an HK on this ship. Hold on, we need to no no we need to check this out immediately. We need to see what's going on with this HK. We need to open this door and find out what's up. Hey, it's our good buddy, right? Yeah, that looks like HK-47. A little rustier than he was last time we saw him. But you know what? I think it's him. Yeah, he's missing several components. A processor, a chassis, control cluster, and his vocabulator. We have the vocabulator. As well, you should have some kind of item for him. This opens up a side quest for us here. Be building HK-47. You just have to find the three remaining parts, and then we'll have HK as a party member again. I'm sure you all want to see that, so we're going to do that. Of course. Naturally. He should be rebuilt in no time, right? Right? Yeah. Let's check out our ship, you know, the Ebon Hawk's back, and let's see what's going on. This room looks about the same, I think. Yeah. Well, those crappy mining droids really fixed the ship up kind of well. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. Look at this. Uh. And there's the workbench in the same place it was in the last game. And there's T3, who doesn't just sit around, he actually will wander around the ship and, you know, periodically fix stuff. You know, just trying to help out, you know, just doing his part. Speaking of T3, let's talk to him. He actually is actually a workbench, so we can use him as a workbench anytime we want. But let's gain some influence with T3 by doing this. As I mentioned before, it's really easy to gain influence with T3. You just don't treat him bad. Be just nice to him and, you know, you try to care and use whatever skills you have to fix him up, like I have repair, so I can use that. Uh, his computer use influence thing is actually something I can't do, unfortunately enough. It's pretty good, because we want to do that one too, but I... Uh, I'll figure something out. And by figure something out, I mean download a mod that makes all my skills 99, and then, you know... I mean, I'll use another character and legitimately raise my computer use skill to... Yeah... You know, it's stuff like that that I really wish you could say, Hey, Atten, can you fix T3? Or, hey, someone else that actually has computer use skill, can you fix T3 for me? Uh, I guess that would kind of defeat the purpose of you being the main character and having to do stuff yourself, right? Well, I can't have every skill. I'm not a sentinel or something. Alright, we fixed T3. He got a little plus one to constitution. And some more influence. See what I mean about T3? And heck, here is the cargo hold. Doesn't have that secret compartment anymore. It also doesn't have that big thing full of food, so, you know, we're all going to starve to death and die horribly. And the medical, well, the medical room with a little bed that, you know, that's where we were, and we can't go on top of the ship because, well, there's no reason to. But we put it off long enough. Let's go talk to Kreia. Uh. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. That does not surprise me any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. 
Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. I do not need condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. I do not know if it is possible, and I fear that had the pain been more intense, the consequences would have been more extreme. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. It does not matter where we go. It is not the destination that matters. It is the journey. All paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be, and no matter how strongly we fight against it. For now, we are bound for Telos, and that is enough. Before the war, Jedi who failed their training were sent to the fields of Telos to serve the galaxy, not as Jedi Knights, but as farmers and laborers. The destruction of Telos was complete. I doubt any Jedi remain. Yet there may be echoes of their passing. We shall see. Then I am left with nothing more than we had already. My faith in you and your ability to meet what comes. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. Uh, so Atten is like a useless dumbass, right? Yeah. Remember when we fought that droid and we both died and he killed it? I think Atten's a little bit more useful than she does. But that's just me, I'm just saying, you know. Not like he's my avatar or anything, but you know. We should go talk to Atten, right? Because we haven't talked to enough people in this video, right? Well, let's wait until the next video. How's our passenger? She's still aging? What a surprise. Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious, it's just irritating. If you really can see the future, you should be at the Bazak table. Then she must be royalty, because she's got to be queen of the galaxy to bark out orders like that. Or maybe she's senile. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good-looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shaddaa Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. You know, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. So? What happened? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. <laughs> Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Yeah, unique how?
Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. I like how Adam couldn't stop sitting down in that cutscene. And I also like how he's typing, but he's not even close to like anything, but he's still... Yeah, that's Adam. He's awesome like that. But you know what? I think that's about enough for this episode, because we have so many, many more dialogue scenes to get through, and we're going to save those for next time. But we finished Paragus. And we're going to go to Telos next time. I'll see you then. Take care.